Hey guys, it's Julian from ProofPix, and I'm here to tell you about a new feature that we're really excited about. It is our Adobe Lightroom plugin, which will interface with ProofPix from Lightroom and hopefully make your workflow a tad bit easier. So first, let's get the download. So we go into settings and click Lightroom plugin. And on the following page, you can see uh, a button to download the plugin and a bunch of instructions, which I'm basically uh, going through now. So let's get the download started. And once that has finished, uh, the zip file should be automatically unpacked. If it's not, uh, you will have to uh, unzip that first. Uh, once you have that, let's move on over into Lightroom. Okay, from Lightroom, we are going to click on File and then Plugin Manager. This is where we can install the plugin. Uh, when the following window opens up on the left side, you'll see a small button at the bottom uh, that says Add, and we're going to click that. And then we're going to locate the proofpix.lr plugin file, which we uh, just downloaded, and click Add Plugin followed by clicking done here. And on the left side, you'll see that uh, the ProofPix publish uh, service has been added under the publish services section. And now we'll click on the setup link here to get going. And here we're going to enter in our ProofPix username and password. And login. Okay, so I'm now logged in. I will click Save. And you'll see that everything went okay because a, a collection was created here automatically. We're going to delete this one because we don't support this kind um, of collection. So I'm going to get rid of that to avoid confusion in the future. And now we're ready to add our first event. So I'm going to right mouse click on here and click on Create Event. And we have some basic settings here, which we can set. Um, all other settings that are event related, such as price list, uh, known customers, uh, things of that nature that go a little more beyond this, are things you can set up in the ProofPix interface and save those settings for future use. So hopefully you've done that so your default settings will be created when Lightroom creates the event for you from here. So we are going to give this a name, Lightroom event. Um, I'm going to choose the ProofPix website that the event belongs to. In this case, I only have one website, so that works. Um, I could add a password here to the event. I could create uh, as well, change the event date and add an expiration date uh, and also indicate whether the event is visible or uh, and or is ready. Once I've got my preferred settings, I just click create here. And oh, I've already created one with a similar name, with the same name, so I can't do that. Let's try a little harder. <laughs> so first thing to do is just get rid of that one. So again, it's not causing confusion. And we'll try again. Create event. So this will be uh, my second Lightroom event. And I'm going to click create. Okay, that one worked. And now we're going to add a gallery into that event. So I click on create gallery. Very simply, I gave it another name. And make sure we're in the right event, which we should be. I could also add a further password here on this gallery if I wanted to and press create. And now that that has finished, I can add images into it. So let's go ahead and find a, something a little more appropriate. Here we go. And I'm going to simply drag those onto the gallery. And having done that, it looks like everything is ready to go, so I simply can click on the event and click on Publish. And as you can see up here, the um, upload process has started, and really it's that simple. 
A uh, couple of things you may be aware of, um, but if not, we have an auto publish feature that you can set in the publish page inside of proof picks. I'll go ahead and show you that now, actually. Um, under site, publish site, um, you can see that I have auto publish enabled, which is a good thing to do when you're working from Lightroom. So you don't have to actually log into proof picks after you're done. Uh, to publish, we'll actually handle that automatically for you. Anyway, I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed uh, this uh, video and hope you enjoyed the plugin a lot more. Thanks so much. Have a great one.